Buhari's aide mocks ex-president Obasanjo Yadua Donatan and says president has achieved where they failed. Presidential spokesperson Femi Adishnal has praised President Muhammad Buhari for signing the petroleum industry bill into law, saying he did what his predecessors failed to do. Additional mocked former President Alicia Kambas and Joe Omar Yardua and Claude Jonathan in a write-up posted on his Facebook page on Thursday titled PMB Call Him a Master Finisher. He said President Mahmoud Buhari has done what Napoleon could not do. Again and again, the bill has defied Lucia Gwambasanjo, who introduced it, got the better of Maru Musaya Adora, God rest his soul, was said good luck, Jonathan, but has finally been subdued by Buhari. The man has proven to be adept at concluding things that had long trounced and vanquished many leaders before him. And Bokram does not include those? Okay, cool. The PIB overwhelmed the first eighth the first to eighth national assembly, which couldn't pass it into law. But through synergy and cooperation between the executive and ninth assembly, now well, Nigeria has a law for her cash cow, the oil and gas industry, more than fifty years after the last legislation which has become obsolete. Step forward President Buhari and being garlanded for being the master finisher. Meanwhile, Governors of the Southern States and Niger Delta communities had rejected the proposed 3% share to host communities in the bill after its passage by the National Assembly. Cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I, at first I, I thought the title was a bit, you know, um, of an exaggeration, saying that Buhari's aid mocks ex presidents Well, he really did. Um, I don't know why he's... He's actually exaggerating it because I don't understand. Are you more proud that, okay, you've now cemented yourself into the highest peak of Nigeria's corrupt leaders where you've earned the most returns from corruption? Is that what you're proud of? Because by no means, as much as the other presidents had the, you know, the um, people complaining at the time, which honestly complaints will never really stop. You're going to pick the worst out of all of them, out of all the administrations, and then say that he, Buhari is the best. I mean, maybe there's a different standard in, in Asso Rock. Maybe there's a different standard and um, measure that we ourselves, we are unaware of because all this does not make sense at all. Um, so, yeah, like, what, what can you even say? It's, it's laughable. Um, and it just shows the kind of unserious people that are in government. Um, <laughs> and I mean, again, okay, let's get this comment. Someone said additional is gone. He didn't get lost today. He's always been lost. True. I mean, again, it's not like as if he has a track record of being consistent in giving coherent arguments and giving wise and um, really smart opinions on or smart statements um, so this will not be shocking but this is like oof my days do you have to show that you're in the government <laughs> like come on um we know the expectations are low but then he just even made it lower i mean there are just no expectations at this point um so yeah the pib is what you're raising shoulders about um so what is the effect of that what is the consequence who does that benefit it's not the people, it's definitely yourselves. So really and truly, in the language that they understand, well, I guess in the political language, the language, I guess, is how they talk to one another um, within the presidential... I mean, I don't mean political language now. I'm talking presidential language in terms of how ex president relates, those who have been close to the presidents, you know, chambers, how those people relate. And I guess this is the biggest achievement in their little circle um, in terms of who is the most corrupt and who basically got the most returns out of their corrupt agency while bringing down the country to nothing and depleting its resources um, and preventing host communities from even getting a tenth of 
<laughs> a tenth tight just tight a tenth of the of the profit and you know produce from from that i mean it's just it's just what can you say what can you actually say it is what it is um somebody here says the bible says the destruction of sinners and unbelievers will be all together when it's time for mr buhari to receive his wages for receive his wages mr additional you will be part of, of it so, okay um someone says why work yourself with ex-president do your work well at the end your government nigeria will quantify the work that you do and the total dollar loans or government borrowed and uh, the consequent impact on nigeria but, see that is a problem because they will settle themselves and of course deal with themselves and when they're not in government anymore they create programs as we know of where they even after they've left office they still were taking care of their pockets are well taking care of they invest in all that con Oof, the embarrassment it's not even a thing where okay fine you're investing and you're pushing or injecting money into your economy you're stealing your own money and then you're injecting it into other economies of the world in gaining properties whatever goods it is and it's just like you're not even helping yourself um just shows that nigeria just seems like an, an adventure for them it seems like an opportunity for them to just rubbish it and run away and yeah it's sad somebody here says well i agree with him because buhari greatest greatest achievement are the deaths of nigerians caused by his kinsmen fulani headsmen brothers um your so-called achievements are unknown to nigerians well it's the way we also see it <laughs> Somebody here says, you are right, he succeeded in destroying Nigeria, um, and he failed woefully where they passed. Um, it's not even that, it's just like, okay, fine. Of all the things that subdued the last president, this security was one of them. I mean, obviously, with, with you know, the later, pres the later presidents and all that, insecurity got worse significantly, and those presidents were not able to curb it, but then why are you selective? With what you are, you've achieved, that the past administration didn't achieve, because they didn't achieve in security. So why could you not do it? Why is it the presidential? I mean, why is it the petroleum industry bill that you're proud about? Why is it that you're pushing to the limelight? Doesn't doesn't make sense. Put what you think about it in the comment section below, and do not forget to like and subscribe.